Hi coaches, Red Eden Park. It's a special dressing shed and a special place for me, so I'm, I'm likely to get emotional on here. How do you get better? How do you constantly improve? And I think there's two things that are important here. One is that you need to change with the personnel that you're coaching. So I think the world of rugby coaching and the world of coaching has changed. It was, was you and them a few years ago, a couple of decades ago, was you and them. Now it's us, us together producing something special. You're still a boss, the buck doesn't pass to them. You still call the shots and make the final decisions, but you involve their expertise, their knowledge, uh, their intellectual property on the game. So I think that's very important. So you need to change with the personnel you're coaching. If you're a secondary school coach and you go to a senior club coach and maybe into an international coach and they're different age groups, obviously how you handle those different age groups is important. And maybe more consensus at the senior level than the junior level. I'm sure you understand that. I remember as a young coach, I really was impressed with the 1971 Lions a long time ago, I know. But they changed the game and Carwin James, a very famous Welsh coach, coached those Lions and he was superb. He started consensus coaching. He had his senior players help coach the team. So I think you need as coaches to think how you do that. And you're all going to be different because you've got all different resources. But I can't stress enough how important that is.